So the redundant settling tank was used when the main pond was an operational fuel storage facility. The water from the pond used to be circulated through there so that any particulates could be settled out and to keep the main pond clear. And that sludge has built up and accumulated over the 30 years that the plant was actually operational. So 18th of October 2019, we've been carrying out some maintenance work in the facility and that night we noticed that there was a drop in some of the levels in one of the sumps. The sump tank was losing radioactive liquor. The leak pathway was impossible to detect as we couldn't access the tank and much of it was below ground level. We had to assume the liquor was going into the ground under or around the tank. We quickly pulled together a task force. Their solution? Get the waste and sludge out of the leaking tank by building a remotely operated crane above it under a new roof. Once we emptied it, we could then reseal it. The brief was to, to keep everything as simple as possible, to allow it to be um, designed and installed in a short space of time. Um, so I don't want to use the word agricultural, but uh, because it's still a remote, uh, remotely operated waste retrieval system, but. Um, fit for purpose and as simple as possible. So from, from leak discovery to um, having this remote waste retrieval capability up and running uh, and up to the, the first active waste transfer, it was uh, 12 weeks. And in that 12 weeks, that obviously involved a, uh, a significant scaffold build, you know, over 14,000 components in, in the, the scaffold and the roof structure. All of the things that we've done to deliver this job is all learning that we've taken from other projects on site. DBA, um, all of the other areas, projects where we're delivering these kinds of solutions, there's nothing novel. We've just picked the best bits of jobs that we know have worked well and, and taken bits from those. It's been actually quite a breath of fresh air really. We've, we've operated in a very different regime to we would normally operate where we've had an integrated design commissioning construction teams where we've worked really hard so the normal query and the flow of information as issues become apparent we've attempted to resolve all of those in real time and so we worked with fourth engineer and who was the subcontractor um, who they, their business is primarily fast reaction to oil and gas problems so we've used those and lent on them quite heavily to deliver this job and a lot of people have spent a lot of time working 24 hours a day in a lot of in a lot of cases to deliver this job removing the waste and sludge still had to be done meticulously and safely to minimize any aerial contamination we had to pause the work in march 2020 when covid 19 arrived after changing the way we work to minimize the threat of the virus in june 2020 we restarted the retrievals work to empty the tank by august 2020 we had removed all of the waste and sludge and had started concreting the base of the tank to reseal it. In September 2020, we installed a manhole into the tank for future access and fully retired the risk, declaring job done on fixing the leak. Next, we will use the canopy and retrievals equipment to remove waste from other parts of the same facility, turning adversity into opportunity and speeding up a decommissioning job which was previously many years from starting. I think what it's given us is an understanding of how quickly we can do things in certain areas. That type of solution isn't necessarily the right solution for everything that we're dealing with, but it's definitely given us a new approach and a new way of working together as a team. To be able to achieve this within this time frame is nothing short of extraordinary. I think it's, it's been the best job I've ever been a part of. Um, really exciting, really tough. For the, for the whole team, 